Hello my full gamers and Pokey Gaming and welcome out once again to Red Dead Redemption 2 Yet yeah, we are back about to do our next story mission No, our next mission isn't exactly a main story mission Obviously it's not yellow and all But it's one of the missions that's required to be able to complete chapter 4 And it's this one here And why am I si- Okay, it's just that guy over there, I've already seen that dude I don't know what he was chatting about last time I saw it I think it was um I mean live stream or something, but yeah, it's this one just up here, Mary Linton, basically the girl he met um, back in Valentine who she has to go and rescue her brother from that, that cult with the turtles or something like that, so yeah, I am very intrigued because remember literally not long after we finished that last mission, went back, went up to our room and there was a letter on the fast travel area. So obviously read it and boom, here we go, next mission here. So I, like I said, just very intrigued as to what this is all about. All I know is we've got to meet her here and... What? Sure, I just heard something over there. Oh, yeah. Please, you, yeah, please, coin, please, please. Why don't you lend a coin to a felon? Yeah, I can afford 25 cents. Get yourself some need. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Special it's snake nice oil. Give something instead of just begging. Okay. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Problem here in the dirt. <sighs> Bloody hell, what's all that about? Anyways, let's just get on to this blooming mission. He's the second beggar I've actually seen in Saint Denis. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Here. Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Okay, why are these two? Yeah, exactly. My thoughts exactly. Just standing there waiting for something to happen. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. I think he needs a bit of a bath. Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. I was just about to say something similar then, not. <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I'll think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Uh, go on, we have to. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. 
Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He <laughs> suffers oh. enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. Right, so which way are we going? Right. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Hey. Hello! Hopefully I haven't got too far to go. Excuse me, partner. Hello. Yep, just down this bit. This okay. is the place. That was very abrupt jun jumping off there by a... Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> you can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't very, waiting on this lady, very, very nervous about him. You'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, oh Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me, you head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. I think we're gonna have to go after her. After, not Gordon. after after him. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Keep your distance, or you'll be spotted. This way. Where is he going? Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Yeah, I was thinking before we met he was going to be more smart and anything, but he seems a real stay. Like he's really let up his drink get to him. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Bloody hell, control's vibrating. I think he saw us. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. 
I think he's going to get himself into trouble. Without a shadow of a doubt. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. Could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. I really should have freaking had a bath before we did this. I'll he do that before the next mission. That alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. Should be just round the corner. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? Oh, boy. You? you! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Now, where is it? Don't get stuck in the doorways, that's the main thing. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. Come on now. Looks like we're turning this horse back. Where is he going? Don't want to kill anyone. Come on, you. Need that one there. Need this one has has a little bit more stamina. You stop right now. That's more like it. I think that horse we left there may still be there. Could return it. I don't know. This is insane. Easy. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. A 
want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Uh fucking hell. Wasting my bloody money on that. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. All right, you run off. I'm gonna head back to Mary. Come on, ghost. Where are you? And we got that other horse flashing there. Screw that other horse. Maybe no one actually mentioned anything that shouted about it. Oh well. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. We'll take you to the trolley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just looking at his hands and he really, really does need a bath. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why, Jess? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, uh all right. We can do. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> I have still strangest to go to a theater handle, as the well. Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, Ooh. That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. Charming. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. Sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. I yeah, don't know what that little thing was. <laughs> okay, I'm intrigued about this little thing. No, we're not exiting the theater yet. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Oh, Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure-covered streets of Saint-Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality just as a proprietor Are you of in the a rush, greatest Arthur? show <laughs> ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all the Don't know why I'm doing the chit random you cheers. You settled the version to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift 
that will see you through the winter better than any I'm only doing that to see if there's any little conversation and things available. Canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Okay. Oh. She was the opera singer, I believe, we robbed. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. No, opera singer, just singer, should I say. Oh, looks like it. I'm doing these random chairs, I just feel like it. Exactly how long these performances it's just out of curiosity. Probably no more than about five minutes or something. It's just amazing the amount of detail that I've actually gone into with this game. Now I have to admit, it was actually pretty good. Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Another one. Ooh. Stop it. <laughs> Amazing. The lysine effects. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. <laughs> If you antagonized him, I might have to do that in a live stream or something. Just antagonize the hell out of these acts.
Charmen. I don't know why I'm just sitting here just watching this, like I'm, a, like I'm actually watching this show, <laughs> even though it's a loving game. Oh, don't burn yourself. I'm sure there's got to be a one act that, how can I put Lundley, will go terribly long if something happens. She building up to something big here. Have I heard that phrase before? Is it? How many more we got? Is that the show done? Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have Make a move. Prepare for the body brazier. Ah Petit Flanor in Gay Paris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, can't do it. Cannot do it. <laughs> Oh no. This is the most random thing we've seen. That's more like it. No, you can't make the move anymore. It's just amazing to think they actually went to the effort of doing this as well. I can't really believe this is about five minutes in the video. Can you make the move again? No. Just gotta show it. Just gotta see, I'm here.
some of the comments from the crowd are just completely and utterly random. Uh, I think we're done now. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Sure, if you want. Tracking we've seen the best of it. <sighs> um. <laughs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> I would have stayed long, I just didn't know how long the act was actually going to last for. My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? Oh, this is going to be one of these split decision things. I wanted, man, Mary, if I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. I wonder if we're actually going to see her again. I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. It just makes me think, are we going to see this girl again? Yikes, so mission complete and we got silver for that. So, did we miss out on anything? Catch the wagon and take the, the clued spot within 1 minute 45 seconds. And take it to the theatre. Almost, but that wasn't too bad a mission. So, next one for us. Um, here's Jose here. That's the mission called the Gilded Cage. Okay, and everyone seems to be all well dressed up in um, white tie or black tie. That's interesting. That's definitely one to be looking. At. I wonder what this one is. What's this? Um, Charles. Oh, it's the um, scientists we did um, like this little boat thing on the live stream a few nights back. Yeah, what's this? The Artist Way 2. Definitely going to have to check that out in a live stream, but not going to be doing that now. But anyways, on that note, I am going to be ending this stream here. So if you have enjoyed it, please do make sure to leave that like. And also, if you're new to the channel I want to see much more, please do make sure to subscribe. Making sure to hit that little bell when you do. Like I always say, every like, comment and subscription helps my channel so, so much. I'll see you next time.